What's up, guys and gals? I'm your host, Mike P of the FPC Virtual Channel, and you are tuning into a Blender 2.80 series for the beta version. It's really going to be something that is something that you can use if you're using a character generator tool. If you're using anything like Mixamo Fuse, Adobe Fuse, or you're using Make Human, or any other character generator, maybe it's Autodesk character generator tool, you can use this. If you're having any kind of mesh issues, where your mesh is protruding through a certain area or the skin and is protruding through the flesh, you'll see in this video how to fix it. Uh, first, what we're going to do is we're going to make him look a lot better because he doesn't look that great. His contours and details somewhat have some issues. So let's fix that real quick. Well, Activate the overlays. Make sure we select all his mesh contours, which he has eye layers, he has a head layer, he has a body layer. Uh, you can go over here where it says base object, body suit, and you can select every layer if you want, but you have to use the shift key to select them all. Once you select them all, make sure the other things are deselected, like the camera, select all, and then you can use the shift to deselect the camera and the lamp if you wanted to do that shift in the outliner will allow you to do that with the left click mouse button so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to object and then go to shade smooth when you shade smooth that basically smooths out all of the 3d asset terrain so now you can see he's doing good now if you're coming from make human and you have some mesh issues you can really solve that simply you just go into edit mode and then you just take points and start pulling. So instead of pulling points at this very moment, the problem is that I have everything selected. I don't wanna edit everything at the same time. You can do that with the new Blender 2.8. So what I wanna do is just select the mesh that I believe is causing the issue. So this mesh is being um, protruded by the skin. So I wanna pull the mesh out. How I do that, I just click on the mesh and it deactivates the actual skin since I was selecting on everything. Then we're going to go to edit mode. Edit mode gives you the ability to pull points how you see fit. And now I'm trying to click with the left click mouse button, but I'm getting the cursor only. That means that I have to change this to select here. Sometimes it, it bugs out and it does that. Um, you can use the circle select if you want and you can just depress that, go to circle select. And that can give you the ability to just single click it and it will highlight everything. But right now, everything is selected. So to deselect that, you can't deselect it. You would have to change to the select option here. Select option gives you the ability to individually select stuff. You can also choose circle select by using the C key without pressing any other key. And you just click it. And now you right click to deactivate and what you want to do is you go to move and then you can move it now you see what a 3d cursor is it's not in a good place because look where your move options are so if you want to change that part you just move the 3d cursor somewhere closer to the 3d object go to move and now you got the option to move it in a better position so we're going to do that there and then we're going to go over here and do this one so c you can use your mouse scroll wheel to make the circle select bigger or smaller. And we'll select those. But make sure you deselect the other side so you don't drag that at the same time. So we'll circle select that. To deselect, you're gonna with the circle select, you're going to use your mouse scroll wheel and depress it. And there you go. Now, remember I said over here, you can't really see it in terms of where your gizmo is or whatever. Your gizmo is basically the helper arm that gives you the ability to move stuff, rotate, transform, scale. So now just use the cursor, move it over here and you can get it back in a better position. So now that's fixed. We're gonna go to object mode and now we're ready. The reason why I wanted to show you all folks that is because you don't wanna to move too far forward if you have a lot of mesh issues and your objects is not looking too good your three objects like i have mesh issues over here so we want to do that as well here make sure we're selected go in and then dig in 
deep onto the you can do individual selections if you want and sometimes you have to scroll in and angle stuff so you can see under the differing mesh that's there so now we got all that right there and we're gonna do um, we're gonna use the cursor put it here go move and this time we're gonna move in the green direction which is the y-axis so we're gonna move it this way make sure we, we don't cross the boundary of the shoelaces and presto that mesh issue is fixed and what other mesh issues do we have when you single click with the left click mouse button it deactivates everything else so that's another thing for y'all folks if you didn't know now you know shift select shift select and shift select shift select individual shift selects is really good for this kind of thing where you're trying to narrow down points of interest that you need to to gain access to so this one is really not easy to find because it's sitting right behind it uh, like I said I gotta go feed my cats so let me just move this down move it up move it down move it up and shift select right there there we go so now we're gonna pull since we see it it's not bad we're good and now we're gonna do just this part here this part is kind of tough but I still can pull off the fix on this one so what we're gonna do is uh, cursor put the cursor here go to select and we want to start looking through it so to look through it you got to go through let's move this all the way to the right we have to click this option here that gives you the ability to see through transparency or you can also go to wireframe wireframe is going to give way too much so we don't want wireframe so what we'll do is just see through it and this is really not easy so one way that I think will work is to go behind it in this format and then go through it to, to detect where the mesh issues are at So when you go through it, you'll see it's actually at the bottom. There it is. See that? So Nick, now you can see the mesh issues and you can select what you want to select. So you select all these here. Pretty cool stuff. Get all these selected. These should be the ones that you can pull out. And it should fix your issues. So we're gonna slide over. Use the, I'm using circle select by the way. Get at this area of um, whatever issues it's causing. And we're gonna go over here. Make sure we get all of them. Wherever you see the, the issue and then turn it around and now you'll see the, the issue over here okay so now all we got to do since we have our cursor here is to click move and then go this direction there we go now that mesh issue is solved um, we're gonna control Z back just to deactivate that I forgot that part so we go over here use the mouse scroll wheel depress it single depress it and it makes it disappear and then we're gonna right click to activate that move that you wanted to perform and now we're gonna go over here and or deactivate the circle select I should I should say and then we're gonna drag that mesh issue out of position not too far not too um, basically not too far so you don't deform it too much and there you go now that mesh issue is done and we have one more mesh issue to fix on this side which is the same exact issue so now that we know how to fix it we can really easily fix it 
single click in, no, in nowhere, in a nowhere zone, and then you can easily zoom out of that, or deactivate that, I should say, not zoom out. And now I'm trying to figure out how can I get into the actual object. So I have to move it over a little bit like this, and then rotate, and then slide it this way. Sometimes you're gonna have issues where you can't get into the mesh that well, but meshes you can go in and you can dig deeper and deeper to see what's wrong with it. And that's one of the things that I like to do. So now we're gonna zoom in. We can't zoom all the way in, so we gotta back out. And like I said, you're gonna have this issue sometimes. So now let's rotate it like this. And now I can get in, I think. Let's move it over and rotate it. Now I can get in. So now we're gonna move it and there we are, right there. So there goes the mesh issue. You wanna go in. Let's take the N key out and the T key out. And now we just gotta use our C. So C, hit all these points and then start pulling like we did before so this video actually turned into a mesh fix but I promise it's gonna go much more in depth you want to do all this like I said man if you don't do this for your 3d assets and you have issues with it it's gonna look really really bad people are gonna look at it and they're not really gonna give you that much credit for what you put up you'll get less credit much less credit because it doesn't look good. Anything that doesn't look good will give you less credit, obviously. So now we're gonna rotate out. We will use the 3D cursor again. So we'll hit the T key, use the 3D cursor, pop it in here, use the move tool. And I don't know why it's not activating the move tool. Well, oh, there it is. I just had to move back a little bit. So you gotta scroll, scroll the scroll wheel sometimes. And let's see it pop out. This one's not popping out right away for some reason. But there you go. Now that fixed that. Um, let's just go from here and here and just pop those out. So uh, there we go. Just got to scroll out a little bit. And that fixed that problem. There you go. So now he's totally outfitted, no problems, no mesh issues. Uh, why is his eyes set up like that? I'll give you a little tip on that real quick. Get out of edit mode, go to object. Why does his eyes look black? Because it doesn't have an alpha transparency. So you gotta go and click his eyes so it lights up as an as a orange color. Before we leave, this is a little bonus. You go over here to the material properties and then you go down and you look for settings where it says settings you go for blend mode and you change from opaque to alpha blend and boom now your alpha is applied and now you can see the transparency works so there's different things that you can do um, to fix your issues using blender and it will bring things into perspective and help you to get a better character setup and this is how he looks really cool when he's rendered this is rendering through EV got a little bit too much light by the way so it's gonna look really dope once I get him animated I just wanted y'all folks to see that um, as a tail end um, you always want to end your sessions with a bang if you possibly can if you want to get more bang for your digital bucks uh, in terms of outputting something with high quality and you want it to look really good so to end this session on a good note, let's go to the uh, lighting side of things for, let's see, we got the light. I believe we're using a sunlight. So we break it down to a point light, move it up, give them just a single point, And there you go, much better. Uh, change the EV shadow which is some issues that people tend to have, go with soft shadows and then break the shadow down, boom. And now it looks really, really good. Much higher quality, um, not the best in terms of lighting, 
but you can play with your lights how you want and position it where you want it to be so you can get a better output as a render now in terms of posing like I said that next video is going to show y'all folks all that stuff and look his actual suit is white and black now you can see it's bringing out the color uh, let's change the background real quick before we end the session so you can see a little bit more into the detail and there you go now it's really bringing them out now let's get rid of the overlays and there you go bam so it's a lot of stuff you can you can do man it's pretty powerful blender is really really much more powerful than the average person may think it's all based on what you are learning to do with your 3d software when you get more knowledge on the 3d software you can pull out much more details you can make things look really really high powered and amazing based on the tooling and the specifications as to what you learn to use look at that look at how detailed this is all through make human these are make human character models the the boots were modeled by a specific person on make human i'll try to put the link in the video's description area for that and this outfit the outfit is from to Mega Man X I believe and the boots I'm not sure I forgot exactly who created the boots but look at that stuff it is pretty pretty dope so other than that I'm out of here and I'll see you folks in the next videos feel free to subscribe feel free to hit the thumbs up feel free to smash that bell icon out of the universe so you can get more videos that I have to offer in this type of blender tutorial sessions not really tutorials I guess you can call it tutorials I don't know maybe I'm becoming an instructor on blender I don't know I think I'm a student I'm more of a YouTube how-to creator but I'm a student when it comes to blender and when it comes to 3d modeling and all the stuff involving 3d 3d animation and stuff like that I'm not really that great at it yet but I think I'm getting better and better the more tutorials I watch I get better at it and I'm trying to improve as much as I can and that's all I got I'm out peace Mike Pugh signing off